non-medical switching. When your physician switches your medicine, they're doing it based on how you responded to your current and past treatments. If it wasn't working so well for you, maybe it caused an unwanted side effect. They use their knowledge of your medical history to offer you a tailored approach for the two of you, review options, and then come to a decision based on medical reasoning. When a third party like an insurance company or a pharmacy benefit manager or PBM does this, it's because of economic reasons. Maybe they want to cut costs. If they're a for-profit business, they want to increase profits for their shareholders. Maybe they've made a deal with a particular manufacturer to switch patients to their product. With small molecule med medicines made from chemical interactions, non-medical switching isn't usually a big deal. These drugs are relatively simple molecules. They often come in a pill bottle. The generic copy is structurally identical to the original, and any problems related to switching between two brands of the same chemical are very rare and usually related to another minor component of the medicine, such as an allergy to a binding agent. But with biosimilars, we're copying complex organic molecules produced in living cells. And it's not possible with current technology to achieve the same level of identicality we can with generics. These are new molecules reverse engineered to have highly similar structure and thus highly similar function in the body. To be crystal clear, there is absolutely nothing wrong with switching from a biologic medicine to a biosimilar or with switching from biosimilar A to biosimilar B or vice versa. Or starting with a biosimilar and then moving to the original biologic it was trying to copy. These are all safe and effective products approved by the FDA. The problem is that many patients living with AI arthritis diseases, myself included, have tried several different drugs, all safe, all effective, until we find the one that best stabilizes our condition. Often this process takes years to get a chronic condition under control, but because we're all unique people with some of our own unique medical histories, and some products work better for one patient than they do for another. Maybe you're a complex patient with multiple autoimmune conditions, for example, and that might make your treatment choices different than another patient's. What's at stake here is who makes those treatment decisions and why. Is it you and your doctor making a decision to switch as part of a customized treatment plan that takes into account your own unique medical history and your previous responses to other treatments? Or is it a big insurance company that's making your treatment decisions for financial reasons like cost cutting, higher profits, or to get a higher rebates from a particular manufacturer? Non-medical switching takes stable patients and it forces them to potentially jeopardize their treatment stability for the financial benefit of the organization that's doing the switching. Most physicians and most patient advocacy organizations, including AI arthritis, aren't comfortable with that. Thankfully, as patients like you uh, become more educated about non-medical switching, we're beginning to see legislation on the state level that aims to put some guardrails on it. These bills can include limits on how or how often a health plan can take away coverage of a patient's medicine. They can also require health plans to have an expedited appeals process so a physician or patient can quickly appeal any switching decision they feel isn't in their best medical interest. Mm -hmm.